let's look at some hot questions on variation. Now let's look at this hot question on variation. Snails of the species Sepia nemoralis show variation in shell color as seen in the diagram. The two variants, X and Y, live in the same sandy habitat. So the questions. Number one, over time, which snail will have a bigger population? Then explain why. Four marks. And lastly, state the force of process, whereby the more well-adapted snail survives, while the non-adaptable snails die. So you can pause the video for a while and try to answer the questions on your own using pen and paper. Right? Write down the answers. Then we'll discuss in a short while. Right, let's look at the answers. Now, over time, which snail will have a bigger population? It's snail Y, this snail. So explain why, for Max. Snail Y is better adapted to live in the sandy habitat, which is brown in color. Y is better camouflage compared to X. Y is not so easily seen by predators as X. So Y survives and reproduces more than X whereas X is more obvious and eaten by predators. So any four out of these five points, okay, to get the four marks. So in this uh, question, we are talking about camouflage, right? So snail Y is better adapted to live in the sandy brown habitat as it also has a brown shell. So it is better camouflage compared to X. So camouflage is the ability to blend in with the surroundings by matching the colors of the surroundings or the patterns in the surroundings, okay? So why is a brown shell like its en environment, like its habitat? Whereas X has a white shell, which is in greater contrast to the brown sandy habitat. So why it's not so easily seen by predators because it is better camouflaged? That means it will not be eaten and it survives and reproduces more than X. So it will not be eaten so often by the predators like the uh, birds and so forth. So what about X? X is more obvious. It has it shows greater contrast to its surroundings because of its white shell. And so it's more easily seen, more obvious, more easily seen, and eaten by predators. So it will die. And its population will not increase so much. Right? So notice here, one tip is that we are making a comparison between X and Y. So we must use the comparison words like better adapted, better camouflage, not so easily seen. We are comparing X and Y all the time. Okay. Reproduces more. Okay. And is more X is more obvious. So if you just write now, let's say for the first example here, first statement here, you just write snail Y is adapted to live in the sandy habitat you will not get that one mark because you are not comparing with X. Okay? So you must use the word better adapted or more well adapted. Okay? So use the comparison words here when you're comparing Y and X. Now lastly, state the force or process whereby the more well adapted snail survives while the non-adaptable snails die. Force is natural selection. Now let's answer this question taken from the textbook. Do identical twins have variation in their phenotypes? Explain why. So this is similar to a past year SPF question. All right. We must know how to answer this question. So identical twins actually have identical genetic material as their genes come from the same ovum and sperm. Okay. So actually uh, in the formation of identical twins, one ovum is fertilized by one sperm to produce a zygote that then develops into an embryo. But the embryo splits into two parts and uh, both embryos then grow to become different individuals. But they are identical twins, right? Because they come from the same uh, ovum and sperm and have the same ident or the identical genetic material. They have identical genetic material. So they share many similarities in their phenotypes such as the color of the hair, the blood group, and the appearance, the appearance, uh, overall appearance. However, they may show differences in their phenotypes due to environmental factors. Okay, So in this case, genetic factors are involved, but also environmental factors that affect their 
characteristics. Example, twins may differ in weight and height due to the quantity and type of food eaten. Okay, the twin that eats more carbohydrates and more fats may be uh, fatter or have a higher body mass. Okay, and exercise too can affect the appearance of the twins. All right, or the phenotypes, meaning the observable characteristics of the twins. Now, one twin may be fatter because his or her diet may contain more fats and carbohydrates than the diet, the diet of the other twin. Furthermore, identical twins show differences in their fingerprint or thumbprint patterns, which are formed in the fetal stage and are affected by environmental factors in the uterus. So, thumbprints of identical twins are actually different. Okay? And uh, this is caused by environmental factors in the uterus, such as the flow of the amniotic fluid. Okay, and the pressure applied on the fingers that affect the pattern of the ridges on the fingers. Fingers. So here we see two types of uh, fingerprints. First one is an. First one is called an the arch, uh, the arch, where the ridges move, go in on one side and come out on the other. And the second one is called the whorl, which is circular, with many concentric uh, rings like this. So the fingerprints of twins are actually different from each other. So let's discuss a question in the textbook. It is not the strongest of the species that survives, nor the most intelligent that survives. It is the one that is most adaptable to change. This was the quote from Charles Darwin. So explain this statement. Now, again, we are going to use the format VANS, uh, the acronym VANS. First talk about variation, then the environment change, then natural selection occurred that led to the survival of the species and over a long period of time, evolution occurred where there are changes in the physical characteristics of the species. So, let's look at the answer. First of all, variation or differences in characteristics among organisms of the same species exist okay, in the species. So, when the environment changed, the organisms with the beneficial genes will adapt to the changes and survive and they reproduce and pass the beneficial genes to their offspring okay the keyword is ben organisms with beneficial genes will adapt will be more adaptable right that's referring to the question and they will reproduce and pass the genes to their offspring so this is this means that the the survival of the most well adapted or the most adaptable individuals right but less well adapted in organisms or individuals will die, right? So, this causes uh, natural selection to occur. Actually, this is the process of natural selection in nature. And because of that, because the most well adapted individuals or most adaptable individuals survive, it means that the species also survive. So, there's survival of the species. And over a long period of time, there will be a change in the characteristic of the species. For example, uh, the wings of the moth, piston bertularia, will have uh, will be more dark colored. Okay, and then uh, we can say that there are some physical changes that occur and evolution occurs. Now, the evolution here is not talking about you know the that man descended from apes and so forth, right? This evolution here that we that we agree happened is that the color of the morphs, huh? the dark colored morph is the one that will uh, survive and then over time this type of morph will be uh, more characterized by this dark color not the light color of the morph right so there's a change in the color of the uh, wings of the morph from light color to dark color as the most common color color so here's the final question which is similar to an SPM past year question and it is also found in the textbook, right? Similar question is found in the textbook. So let's look at this uh, essay question. Tomato plants were planted in two different plots of land, X and Y, on a farm. Plot of land X. For this plot of land, tomato plants were grown from the same tissue culture. And for plot of land Y, 
the tomato plants were planted from seeds. So the plantation was infected by a pathogen and all the plants in plot X were killed, but only some plants in plot Y died of the infection. Explain why all the plants in plot X were killed and only some in plot Y died. So try to plan an answer and write it down on a piece of paper first and then we'll discuss the answer. All right, let's look at the answer. So we have to compare the plants in plot X, which were grown from the same tissue culture and plants in plot Y, okay? Where the tomato plants were planted from seeds. So first talk about X. Plants in plot X are produced from tissue culture, which is a cloning process. Therefore, all the plants or clones produced have the same characteristics as their parent, and they are also genetically alike among themselves. So the clones do not show variation and are genetically alike, meaning that they also have the same uh, resistance, okay, genetic resistance towards a disease. So the re resistance towards the disease is genetically, uh, genetically uh, based, all right? It is caused by the genes. Now, if there's an infection and one of the clone dies, then all the clones will have a similar, similar resistance towards the disease. They will all die as they have the same resistance, right? But for plants in plot Y, the tomato plants show variation because they are genetically different. Why? Because the seeds are actually produced from the fertilization by the gametes, the male and female gametes. And male and female gametes are produced through meiosis. So they are all genetically different. The gametes are all genetically different, okay, because of meiosis, where there's crossing over and also random arrangement of homologous chromosomes on the metaphase. Uh, on the in the middle of the metaphase uh, or equatorial plane, a metaphase plate. Okay, so they have different resistance to a disease. They are not all alike. They are not all genetically alike. Now, some of the plants which have higher resistance to the disease will survive, all right? And while those with a lower resistance to the disease may die. Right. This is all for this lesson. Thanks for viewing, and please do share, like, and subscribe to my channel. If you have benefited from it. Goodbye for now.